Hello students. Today we are going to see this uh, uh, topic initialization of variables. So last class we have seen what is variable. So a variable is a uh, variable is a memory location where we can store values, which uh, which has to be used in the program. So uh, initializing the value. Okay, initializing of uh, initialization of variable is nothing but assigning some initial value to it okay uh, say for example while uh, you can see that example int num is equal to 100 so here int is the data type and uh, num num is the uh, variable name and here they are assigning some value to it okay so 100 is the value which is assigned to this uh, num variable okay so uh, in the very in the memory space num 100 will be stored inside it okay so likewise here you can see that there are multiple examples and here you can see some example program also so which can be used in uh, in the program and after the, you can even change the variable okay so variable means you can see that it is it has the memory location you can store some value and uh, <coughs> and here and that value can be changed okay so constant is the value that uh, cannot be changed throughout the program but variable can change okay so that is the that is the initialization part so next is dynamic initialization so dynamic initialization means uh, uh, the uh, the value will be assigned dynamically based on the input of the user or calculation of the previous equation or calculation of the previous expression okay so here you can see that there are three <coughs> uh, variables created so n1 n2 and sum okay so sum is equal to uh, num1 plus num2 so here you can see that the sum value okay the value of sum is based on two variables previous variable n1 and m2 okay number one and number two so here you can understand that uh, the value uh, the value of sum will be dynamic okay so either the user can provide the value of num1 and num2 or uh, here you can see that <coughs> the value of uh, sum uh, maybe some equation or expression which deals the sum of number one and number two okay so next topic here this this kind of uh, uh, examples will be given here so next is access modifier access modifier constant so constant is a keyword c o n s t const okay uh c o n s t const is a keyword used to declare constants you already learned about the constants in the previous chapter const keyword modifier uh, restricts the accessibility of variables so it is known as access modifier okay so it uh, this access modifier constant c o n s t const is the keyword so uh, it can it it uh, it restricts the access of the variable for modification okay so if you try to modify it then it will not allow it okay uh, so so here you can see that example uh, int num okay so this is a normal variable but const variable okay so here you can see this is the example for c o n s d const and uh, integer uh, num is equal to 100 okay so the above variable is being assigned okay as num which has the value 100 is a constant so if you try to change some value okay so here in this uh, problem they are trying to change the value num is equal to num plus one okay so this is a uh, this is a expression or this is a, a mathematical exp a mathematical uh, equation okay so this uh, this this is trying to change the value of constant but here you can see that the <clears throat> turbo compiler okay so before uh, before executing the uh, program the you have to compile the program okay 
so this compiler will tell you assignment of the read only memory num okay so this will tell you that this is a read only memory you cannot able to change it so you have to change the uh, expression so this is a uh, this is a error okay so this is a error message will be displayed when the above program is uh, compiled okay so next is reference so reference means you can refer some variable other variable so if you are creating a variable that can refer another variable then that is known as uh, refer reference okay so the symbol which is used for refer is and symbol so here the data type and the reference number uh, reference variable which is equal to original variable okay so here they have given one example <coughs> uh, int num is equal to an ordinary variable so int and temp temp is a temporary variable uh, which is declared as uh, reference variable to num variable okay so here num variable is um, yeah. <coughs> here num variable is equal to 10 100 here now we are trying to print uh, trying to print both the numbers and here you can see that the output is 100 and 100 okay so whatever value which is stored to num will be assigned to uh, temp also so this is a reference uh, a reference variable okay so next is uh, uh, formatting output so here you can see that there are some uh, uh, formatting output uh, functions predefined functions so these predefined functions can be uh, <coughs> uh, these predefined functions can be used to, to format your output text so that it will be it will be looking like a decorative output okay uh, so uh, ndl okay ndl and set w set w set fill cell uh, set precision set f so these are all the uh, predefined functions that are used to uh, format your output text okay so we'll see one by one so set uh, w set fill pre set precision and the set of or uh, or manipulation uh, manipulation of members of io main uh, ip header file so if you want to use it you have to import this io files okay so here you can see that the uh, first example is said uh, sorry uh, yeah, ndl okay so this ndl is used as a line feeder in c++ it can be uh, used as an alternative to slash n in other words ndl inserts new line and then can, uh, makes the cursor to point to the beginning in the next line the these are different uh, between endl and slash n uh, even though they are performing the similar task endl inserts new line and flushes the buffer but uh, this slash n uh, creates a new line but does not flushes the buffer flush means clear okay so here you can see that there is a small difference between endl and slash n <laughs> slash n is used to create a new line <laughs> and endl is also create uh, used to create a new line but it will flush the old uh, flush, flush the old memory okay flush means clear the old memory <laughs> and the next thing is uh, set w So set w means you can set the width of the uh, width of the output okay so set w manipulates the set of set the width of, width of the field assigned to for the output okay so the the field width 
determines the minimum number of characters to be written in output okay so uh, here you can uh, see that you can uh, set or manipulate or modify the number of width okay number of characters that can be uh, inserted in a output field okay so that is set w so here you can see that this is a this is an example uh, here they have inserted set with 25 okay so set with 25 means in that particular line in that particular output statement only 25 characters can be used okay so apart from this 25 characters uh, the minimum uh, the 26th character will be eliminated okay so uh, you can see the output like this okay so to prepare a output like this you can uh, you can do this kind of uh, uh, you can use this kind of uh, uh, functions like a uh, set w and uh, the next one is next one is precision sorry set fill okay so here you can see that uh, there is a there, they have given some example here so count uh, yes uh, set w 25 so this field one uh, one this field one with uh, 25 spaces with okay so here uh, it gives 25 space okay it gives 25 space and after that it will provide you the output okay so basic pay and set w is equal to next 10 space is given here so 10 space is given here and the basic which is the data which is uh, 1000 uh, sorry 12000 is printed there and n n del is created there so it will the cursor will move on to the next line okay so <clears throat> here you can see that the uh, set w25 will create spaces empty spaces for uh, for the output okay so here you can see that this is this provides the output in a neat manner okay so that's what it is uh, given here so this 25 characters uh, will be created and the last part of uh, 25 characters will be printed with basic the word output word basic and then they are giving 10 spaces here so here you can see that they have given commonly 10 spaces here so that the last count will be uh, the numbers will be printed with the 10 characters okay <coughs> mm. so, so set fill so you can fill the characters uh, with uh, zeros and ones okay so if you if you are uh, uh, you can see that the manipulation is used usually used after a set w it uh, presence value does not enter uh, entirely fills the given with then then the specific uh, characters uh, in the set fill argument is used to fill the empty fields okay so uh, set fill if you give a character to it uh, set w is uh, this set fill is used after set width so consider you are using 10 spaces as width but your uh, but your value is uh, is using only three spaces okay the other uh, other uh, nine spaces or other six spaces will be used by by some default characters which is used or uh, given as a value to this set fill function okay so in the set fix function uh, will uh, fill up all the empty spaces uh, that are not used by the uh, that are not used with the some the, with, with the character that we provide here okay so here you can see that um, zero is the value that is given here so here you can see that they are using this fill function okay fill function to uh, fill all the empty spaces okay next is set precise set precise is nothing but it will provide you the 
நம்பர் ஆஃப் கேரக்டர்ஸ் யூ கேன் யூ கேன் மாடிஃபை த நம்பர் ஆஃப் கேரக்டர்ஸ் ஆஃப்டர் த டெசிமல் பாயிண்ட் ஸோ ஹியர் தெர் இஸ் அன் எக்ஸாம்பிள் ஹெச்ஆர்ஏஸ் ஈக்வல் டு தௌசண்ட் டூ ஹண்ட்ரட் பாயிண்ட் தௌசண்ட் டூ ஹண்ட்ரட் பாயிண்ட் ஒன் ஒன் டூ த்ரீ ஓகே ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் அ திஸ் இஸ் அ எக்ஸாம்பிள் ஓகே ஸோ திஸ் த்ரீ ஸ்பேசஸ் அவுட் ஆஃப்டர் பாயிண்ட் வேரியபிள் இஸ் பீன் யூஸ்ட் ஹியர் ஸோ தட் ஸோ தட் யூ கேன் யூஸ் த ஓகே ஸோ திஸ் ஃபைவ் ஸ்பேஸ் கேன் பி used okay set so precise is equal to 5 they have used here so when the output uh, is printed you can see that uh, it creates five spaces with all the others zero okay so uh, so all together five characters okay so set precise is equal to 5 so 1200 point 1 will be taken as consideration so since uh, the total uh, total number of uh, letters or total number total uh, numbers okay so that is there is 5 okay so next is next precision uh, you can see that 2 is given here so 0.1 will be printed as it is 0.1 so with this we'll finish the class today we'll see the uh, rest of the things in the next class thank you students